assuming for this problem is like the disturbance is all over the beam. So what happens is the optimal cost for each finite the approximated product. So I have assumed the so I have done the eigenvalue approximation here and this is how it goes as the number of modes of the approximation goes high. So the optimal cost it basically doesn't seem to converge at all, it just keeps increasing. And uh, the location that corresponds to the optimal cost is <coughs> all around the bar. There is no fixed location for that. However, uh, if you consider the disturbance it, to be taken as a compact operator, in this case I am considering the disturbance to be concentrated at one particular location. So in this case it turns out that the disturbance is a compact operator. So the optimal cost for each approximated problem seems to be converging, so does the corresponding actuator location. So this is, so this basically illustrates my theoretical result that I actually needed the compactness of the input operator and the disturbance operator. So this problem is pretty good and it has all the assumptions that I have. However, uh, there are several open problems that are still in this problem with respect to computation. So the exact computation of the optimal attenuation is still an open problem. Like without going through an iterative <coughs> algorithm, you have to basically come up with the exact value of optimal attenuation that is still open. So in practice what we do is we basically have an iterative algorithm, like a bisection like procedure to find the optimal attenuation. So uh, for that we basically have to solve this Riccardi equation at each iteration and decrease this gamma further to get to the gamma hat. So MATLAB's inbuilt routine works very well. It only works for like, like really small problems. But it breaks as the size of the problem becomes high. By that I mean like, so when you have like a finite element approximation or something, you the usually the size of the problem becomes really large. So solving this Riccardi equations for really large problems, MATLAB cannot handle that. And also as the uh, gamma approaches the optimal attenuation, the problem breaks. Like if you plug in back the solution that you get out of MATLAB and plug it into the equation, you no longer get zero, rather you get like something, if you have to get like absolute zero, but you never get that. So uh, it is still open as to come up with a nice uh, routine and algorithm to compute these values for really large problems. There are several methods that are recently found like for the last three to four years and I'm currently working on that. So basically looking at what sort of the method which, will, which is ideal to work with is, the pro, is still open. So and also once I come up with some sort of a method that actually helps me how to compute this gamma hat accurate enough, then I have to come, come up with a method that can basically uh, reduce this uh, cost further on all possible locations. And this particular function, the way it evolves with respect to this uh, location is a non-convex function. So it basically has several local minimums. So being a non-convex function, <coughs> trying to come up with an optimization algorithm which provides you a global minimum is again an open problem. So another interesting one is like we don't want to do this optimization problem, like solve the optimization problem twice. So we want to basically come up with an algorithm to solve the joint actuator location problem and the control problem. So that's, so there is no algorithm that's out there that will actually uh, do both together. So possible extensions of this problem is, just like how I found the optimal actuator location, we could compute the optimal sensor location. So sensors are the devices which basically measure some useful information out of so this is more like a dual problem to the optimal actuator location problem. So also you could extend this to the output feedback problem. So all I talked about was how to come up with the state feedback. So is there a way to come, because in usual, like in realistic applications, you don't have the information of all the states. So we only, we end up doing an output feedback problem. So in the case of output feedback problem, uh, you have so you have like two sets of algebraic Riccardi equations and those Riccardi equations are actually <coughs> coupled which makes the problem even more harder. So summarizing, uh, I'm basically working on finding the optimal actuator location for the 
PDE, which is how the original problem is modeled. And I'm looking at the HNCD control criteria. So for the optimal disturbance attenuation, I showed like how continuity and convergence of this plays a very important role in order to identify the optimal cost actuator location. So I showed some theoretical and numerical results, and I would like to thank you one and all for the attention. Yeah. 